deal with airplane peanuts. That's you did a thing last night that was yeah. very European. You kissed my hand three times. Yeah. Absolutely. Is that a fucking New York thing? No, he, just thought, he thought you were King John Un. That's what yeah, he called that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, he I said was, he got confused. Yeah, I was paying, I was paying respect to the <laughs> dear leader. Oh, you were? That's what it was. Yeah, he's yeah, paying yeah, respect. Yeah. Maybe right. it's a white people thing. <laughs> no, you know what I think it is, Bobby. Hey, I'm just like, no, just don't point okay. fingers at. Don't no, no, first no, of all, I, first of all, you know what? Your gay, no, your gays, your gays of pointing fingers at little Asian people is over. Oh right? no, 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 they're just beginning. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. And you guys know I'm a Trump supporter, right? So don't worry. <laughs> I mean, that's that's you're gonna get away. With, you're gonna get away with it because you got the right look. But if you're speaking our language right now, yeah, I think he's just making good choice after good choice. And if fucking cuck down Hollywood wants to say something different, they can say it. We're in Bobby Lee's fucking mansion right now, and it's what it is. Yeah, I was kidding, but uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah no, yeah, me yeah. too. <laughs> Any show I got on in the beginning would be doing the open mics and then either you know bringing three people or handing out flyers or but. Most most of them were, uh, uh, hey, I have a bar show. I don't know who you are, but I heard you're a physical therapist, which is a doctor to them. Can you <laughs> take a look at my back or my knee or so many dicks? I'm not even trying to be funny. It's like so many comedians would be like, can you look at my penis? For what? For like something wrong? STDs. And I'd be like, but I'm a physical therapist. Like I can, I give massages. They were just, they were like, <laughs> just like, look, yeah, look, look at my dick. Look at my dick. Give and I'd be like, look, I'm not licensed to tell you this. But it is herpes. <laughs> but, no. I get why the Japanese had to do what they had to do. We were not treating them fairly, treating them like second-class citizens since World War One. And then they came, and then we stopped fucking paying for their oil. We stopped the oil. We said we're not giving you any more oil to take over fucking China. So they said, "Listen, babe, the only way the only thing we're gonna, have to do is we're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to try to blow your blow the Pacific feet out of the ocean. It didn't work. Yeah, and then yeah. the whole country got put in a microwave. But <laughs> that's just what's going to happen. Yeah. you know. And, and but I'm yeah. not. But what I'm saying is, you I mess don't with the blame boys, the Japanese. Happens. You yeah. mess with the boys. You woke up the boys. Yeah. It's a situation. It's unfortunate that that happened. But I do not blame the Japanese for doing what they did. And I also, you know, war is disgusting. It's ugly and it sucks. But it's not going anywhere. <laughs> but I, you know. But do you think just this is probably open for debate? But do you think that? Nuclear bombs was a little too much. I think it's the sex is a little heavy handed. Heavy yeah. here, right? I think I think <laughs> it's a little. It's I a think little I'll bit. say this. I think the second one was a lot. The, you didn't have to do the second one. <laughs> and the first one is debatable. I don't. I wouldn't have chose to use it. But I, but the other. Think about the other options from the from the Allies' point of view. They said we're going to lose a million soldiers if we invade Tokyo. So or we can just drop some nuclear juice on these people and see what happens. Look, yeah. And I don't. I don't think it was right. I don't think it was right what the United States did. I do not. Just don't call it juice. But yeah, juice. It's don't a little call weird. It juice. Yeah. Oh, I it's said a weird. it's a little bit more of a boo boo. <laughs> yeah, juice sorry. made it sound a little yeah, more like, friendly. Like, yeah. Well, they Once kept apple saying, juice here. <laughs> well, no, they kept saying they kept. Well, listen, you know, Truman kept Truman kept saying he kept saying to Japan, he said, just give up. Your country's lost. Give up. And the Japanese pride said, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. So he said, you're giving us no choice. Either you give up by today, and we're not, and and or you're going to be a bento box. And then that's what happened. <laughs> you know what I mean? And and I and I know that that's unfortunate. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm just and I'm, I'm everyone's gonna be a little traumatized after. <laughs> yeah. that. All right, I'm an instigator. Yes, I don't care. <laughs> I am one. Why are you? Why are you fuck? deaf all of a sudden? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm an instigator. I'm instigated. <laughs> Stop, are you a mute? I don't know. <laughs> I look like John Stamos is like retarded brother. <laughs> Like no, it's special that. needs. It's, that's what they call me. My we call him Nick, special needs Stamos. That's my Nick that's Stamos. Stamos. <laughs> and we also call him and we also call him Yanni Almos yeah, yeah, because yeah. he's you know he's he, his his head is almost big enough. He's almost handsome. He's almost got a big enough dick. He's almost had a career. He's yeah. come close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, and he's yeah. almost gay. That's the thing with us. Is I'll say this about us yeah, yeah. is we're a podcast. Number one, we're a podcast that's on the run. We we just feel like we say shit. Yeah. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah, yeah. The history hyenas. <laughs> um, we uh, we can confidently. Con Confidently, 100% tell you we are not gay, but we can also tell you we are not straight. Yeah. So, so I just don't. Did you have some cake for your birthday? Yeah, a little bit. I was playing video games. I have the headphones on. Yeah. And my brother and I were, um, you know, we we're in a house, and we could hear footsteps coming in, right? And we're scared, right? I'm like, Steve, wait, flank him, flank him, right? And I'm upstairs with the gun, right? Mm -hmm. We already had a loadout, right? So I have my loadout, right? I'm, you know, my point, right? All of a sudden, he hears, "Happy birthday!" Right, <laughs> and literally, right, my fucking neck clinked like that, and then and my left arm came numb, and like 
I almost had a fucking stroke. I turn around, it's these fucking little fucking island gooks. <laughs> Sneaky little island gooks like they did in fucking Platoon. Yeah. Right in Platoon, the whole Ho Chi Minh, Ho Chi Minh, right? Remember? Yeah. Right, 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 right. <laughs> they dig holes. They, they live in a tree for three weeks with a banana and a fucking handgun. Bananas that's, good. Why they, that's, that's why they won the fucking war. Bananas good to yeah. lower blood pressure. Yeah, I know, but they, yeah, right. So, but that's how they won, these little fucking little fuckers, right? Yeah. They know where all the holes are. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. They'll just hide in a hole for fucking a month. She right? And then when somebody comes, they snatch them. She put it on Instagram. Didn't you guys put that up on Instagram, the video? Right. I almost had a fucking stroke. So, you know, when, when I get, you know. Oh, well, your dad did die of a stroke. Yeah, dude. All my family members, no, right, remember. have had strokes and they've been paralyzed from the neck down. They smoke cigarettes, though? Cigarettes is I big. I smoke, too. Oh, you smoke, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, you know, I told you about my grandmother. For 25 years, she never left the house. Right. And, then, you know, I told you about the welts and stuff. Didn't you have a grandmother, too, who got run over by a tank or something? What was like, that story? Oh, oh fuck. You, you know, told me that on Tiger yeah, yeah, on yeah, Tiger yeah, yeah, Belly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had an aunt, you know what I mean, who was run over by a military. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Dressed like Freddy Krueger. Oh, it's so funny. I like at the end, the last part when they just still look at his face. Right here at the end. <laughs> I can watch this shit. <laughs> I would have came at the end and hit him with a fucking wiffle ball bat. It's interesting you say that because I did the Ancestry.com and I thought my whole life I was half Italian, half Irish, like every other white piece of shit from any big city, but I found that I'm almost 80% German. Yeah. Um, so it is interesting you say the Schindler thing because I have a little bit of the, the Nazi thing. You know? <laughs> yeah. No, no, I, I, like, I like everybody. I, don't I, I anybody. understand that. I don't want to push anybody in ovens. I'm, I'm, I, I, you know, I am for the wall, and I, you know, but, but I, I, want, I want to make sure everyone here has their passport because right. you guys are looking at me, and it's, I'm, I'm getting a little, you know, uh, I'm getting a feeling the walls are coming. But I want to say this. But I don't want to hurt any Jews. <laughs> right. I know you don't, but you didn't even have to go Right. Ancestry. You could have just called me, and I would have said you're 80 percent German. <laughs> you, you, you know. Look at that yeah. face. Yeah. You see Schindler's List. Yeah. They all look like you, bro. I remember like one time Piff the Magic Dragon came in, and he was a little late, and I felt bad because like hey, I'm stuck in traffic. He's got his fucking dragon costume who on, the, even though he sells tickets. You're like, is that? Jesus, it's gonna suck. You don't know him? No. Yeah. American got he got America's Got Talent. Yeah, he like one America's Got Talent. He's got millions of dollars, but he's got to walk around in a in a fucking dragon suit. Yeah. And I remember he was oh, like he late. Magic. Yeah, so, you know, you feel oh. bad. You're like, what the fuck? This kid's in a dragon suit. It was the summertime, but he's got to do it. It's the act. He's making real money. So so he sat down, and I was they had some sandwich shop had come with sandwiches, and I went to go give Piff a piece of sandwich because I felt bad. And Jim Norton was like, don't give him any food. This isn't a fucking fort. And then he just... <laughs> 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 and then Jim... And then Jim... <laughs> <laughs> he said, and I was like, I just want to give the kid a sandwich. He goes, you give him a piece of food, you get the fuck off my show. And I was like, oh, this is great. You know? He said, this isn't a fort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Is everyone really molested here? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. For no, real. Not, 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 not this one. I don't know. You guys? No, he wasn't, no. Just yeah. weren't. All right. You're all unmolestable. Right. That's all. Yeah. I was a really cute If we kid. played a basketball team, cute. instead of shirts and skins, it would be molested, molested. first time. Molested. <laughs> <laughs> you could have a really good three-on-three game right yeah, well, I also know a female comedian that we know, all know that's a popular podcaster. I want to say her name, but she had you know a somebody show up at her house. I believe it. That was like repping another podcast, what? right? And going, I know where you live. You know, yeah. I mean? so it's it's that is, it, yeah. You know, and you know that happens, and that's fucking scary shit. Sure, you know? of course, of and course. Someone just sent me bananas to my front door because that's we delicious. have a banana break on our podcast. That's good. You know how creepy uh, that is. Yeah. Bananas. No, just knows. random bananas. Yeah, potassium. They're good for potassium. <laughs> they're high in potassium. I love they're bananas. Legumes. They are a little high in fat, a little high in cal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been yeah, doing yeah. my fitness pal, and they're about 150 cows. Large banana. And also something that you mentioned earlier too. It's like you know other comedians canceling other. I don't trust guys with no shoelaces. By the way, I don't trust George at all anymore. You know what? Yeah. That, you know what about that, Velcro? No. Velcro, I can deal with because it, you know it's like you're retarded. <laughs> Is that because God didn't concentrate when they were making us? I don't know. I don't know. I, I it's my gotta be something though, right? Yeah. I, I know where you're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where you're fishing, and I because I feel like he right when he made you. Yeah, he took a day. Yeah, like he's like get, oh, yeah. get, the, get the chins in, right? Get the, get the chin. up, right, and all that stuff, right? <laughs> and he concentrated, right? But with me, he went like this. Does this guy need a chin? No. Yeah. And he yeah. made a billion of us too. <laughs> yeah, a lot and of you. He says we're making up just pop pop and just throw them down. Throw right? them down. White dudes like you, yeah. he really concentrates. Well, I think it's I think God's German. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I think the wrong people won the war. I'm just no, I'm kidding. <laughs> From 2020. Yeah. <laughs> no, <I'm> kidding. <laughs> I just remember like like I I don't go to bed till like I, I've always been like that four or five in the morning. Yeah. So I, mind you, and I'm starving. You can't go to the kitchen before 10, you know what I mean? What? After 10, yeah. 
So then I'm like starving, three in the morning, no money, right? In a dark attic with a quilt. It's freezing, right? Trembling, right? And like you you start thinking things like, should I just get out of the business? Why right. don't you go downstairs and just get food? They You're, wouldn't let you. They had like a rule that you couldn't And do you it. didn't want to creak. Uh, yeah, I don't want to creak. Also, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to. Don't you have those little, white people? But Bobby, those little but also, shoes, those little you, tiny shoes that tie your feet. Don't you bind your feet? Don't you guys bind your feet at night to make your toes smaller? Yeah. Isn't How did you, you eat? Did you bring your own chopsticks or did you just use their <laughs> utensils? How do you eat so much pizza with chopsticks? <laughs> you didn't want to go downstairs. You want to get out of the business. But then what? What woke you up to stay in the business, huh? The money? The checks? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> Count to three. <laughs> We're just kidding. That's so racist. I'm just kidding. That's I'm just kidding. That's the most kidding. racist thing I've ever heard. <laughs> That's the you most may... racist thing you've ever heard. Well, when I'm, 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 my eyes are obviously closed, right? And oh, then Chris now goes, they, oh, they're open. Goes, close your eyes, <laughs> right? I can't tell. Uh, uh, you, 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 you really couldn't tell. Well, okay, close them now. Let me see. Oh yeah, no, not really. Can't really fucking tell. <laughs> <laughs> the first. <laughs> they didn't even know. The people in Indiana didn't even know you were Asian, probably. They just thought you had allergies or something. <laughs> <laughs> For who do people say he looks like? What? Who do you think? Um, uh, who do you look like? Um, Bruno Mars or uh, <laughs> Bruno? That's a good one. Bruno, Bruno Mars. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I would say. I would say. Yeah, Bruno Mars. I would say Tiki statue. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I would say I would Bruno say. Mars or Moana. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll fucking take that. That's a, that's a Disney character, bro. Oh, I you. Yeah. Your fucking All cartoon the- face. <laughs> fuck. yeah. I'd rather not do the gig than do the condo. Be- and it's not a, I think I'm so good thing. Oh, let's it's just- have a club owner, right? Yes. And you're headlining, right? Yes. And and I say to you, you come in, I go, hey, Chris, big fan. <laughs> Love the Hi Yana yeah. podcast. It's great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but um, uh, yeah. Great. we love it. And that that Punjab, what's this, the guy, hairy guy that you do it with? He's oh, wow. Uh, Alfie? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's what Turkish. A, a yeah. Very funny guy. Yeah. Is he Punjab or? Yeah, Yanni yeah, yeah, Smallheads, yeah. 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 <laughs> so um, anyway, um, there's no green room because, um, you know, during the day we do this, um, you know, we do a one man show, mm-hmm. you know. Todd McGivens is doing a one man show. He's fucking so funny. So funny. Hey, Todd yes. McGivens. He's, you know, he's doing a one man show about his trauma and how he was, he was, he was molested by pygmies. Oh really? Yeah, oh, Bobby Lee doesn't act just like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, and then I walk the fucking Italian guy. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because yeah, <laughs> he's pro pygmy. Yeah. So and then he goes anyway. So there's no green room, and um, it's weird. It's like we're you do great numbers for us. Th- thank you so much. But we don't really have any water for you. So if you can go across the street and go to the. And just go get yourself some, some water if you want some. Right. No but green so, room and you get your own water. Yeah, but we have a hallway where the, next to the bathroom. So just, we have a couch there. You can just hang out there. Yeah. What would you say? Uh, initially, I would I would have just done it and taken it. But today, yeah, today I would I would just say no. You have to you have to go you have to go get me water. I would tell him you have to fucking go get me water. And then uh, and then if he didn't, I obviously you know because I'm U.S. passport or whatever. I brandish my weapon. <laughs> and I put it in his fucking mouth, <laughs> and, and, and I'd say, "Listen, fuck nuts. Yeah, yeah. Either you go get me some fucking Aquafinas right now, and some jelly donuts with some straws, because I've never done drugs, <laughs> yeah. so instead I snort the jelly. Yeah, yeah. Or I'm gonna fucking put two in the back of your skull. I'm gonna get get gonna uh, get away with it because my father's a criminal. That's what I'd say to him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I have like a have list. Your... I have I have revenge fantasies. I have a lot of revenge fantasies. Right. And I have a list of twelve hundred. 1,200. 1,200 probably names on oh a my list God. of people that I could want. sell out a theater. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sell, out a- yeah, sell out a theater with the revenge. <laughs> you should do it. The revenge. <laughs> and invite them all. Give them free tickets. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Like, that's like a fucking Wilt Chamberlain <laughs> number of people who yeah. offended you. I know, I know. But you know I'm trying to even do the math and think how that's possible. Is that like three people a day who said, fuck you? <laughs> I know.